Read or listen to all of the headlines in one place. Excerpts from the Drone Life Drone News of the Week, September 30th. Click on the titles below for the full story. Skidio Data Security earns SOC 2 Type 2 compliance. Earlier this week, Skidio announced a major inclusion to its data security compliance in the form of a SOC 2 System and Organization Controls Type 2 report, an internal audit that provides insight into the way a company stores and handles customer data based upon a set of standards and restrictions put in place by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, AICPA. Gremsey introduces T3v3, two-axis gimbal solution for enterprise, video. Gremsey has introduced the T3v3, a two-axis gimbal solution for the enterprise, offering a smaller, lightweight solution with longer flight times. Weighing just 750 grams, about 26 ounces, with a payload capacity of 1,700 grams, about 3.75 pounds, the T3v3 offers the image quality needed for industrial applications, with the longer flight times that a smaller form factor enables. From the Brink factory in Las Vegas, what U.S. drone manufacturing looks like. During commercial UAV Expo in Las Vegas earlier this month, Brink Drones, the makers of the Lemur aircraft for SWAT missions, hosted a small gathering at their offices and manufacturing center in Las Vegas. The tour of the manufacturing floor provided an inside look at what drone manufacturing in the U.S. can look like. Brink's manufacturing shows how U.S. drone manufacturing can and is being done, and how nimble smaller, U.S.-based companies can be in building to meet customer needs. Oklahoma State Counter UAS Center of Excellence will support Homeland Security. Oklahoma State University's Oklahoma Aerospace Institute for Research and Education, OAIRE, has launched a Counter UAS Center of Excellence, QuasCOE, as well as a new partnership agreement seeking to fortify national defense through the development of countermeasures to disable malicious unmanned aerial systems, UAS. The partnership was announced during a launch event celebrating the Quas COE on Friday at the Ham Institute for American Energy at OSU in the Oklahoma City Innovation District. NPSDDP, Auto Donate Drone Solution for Public Safety in New Jersey. The National Public Safety Drone Donation Program, NPSDDP, has teamed up with Autel Robotics, Fox Fury Lighting Solutions, Skybrows and Pilot Institute for the donation of a drone to the Seaside Park Police Department in New Jersey. The donation comes complete with a lighting kit, FAA pilot class and 3D modeling reality software. Dronei Drone Market Report, where the drone industry will grow the fastest by 2030. Drone Industry Insights, Dronei, has published their annual flagship product, the Drone Market Report. This year, the forecast goes out eight years to 2030 and gives new insight about where drone industry growth will be fastest, by region and by application. According to Dronei's Drone Market Report, the global drone market is worth an estimated US$30.6 billion US dollars in 2022. It's a stunning number, but one poised for steady growth. Dronei forecasts that the commercial drone market will experience a CAGR, compound annual growth rate, of 8.3% until 2030. Overall, our drone market analysis shows that the market as a whole, commercial plus recreational, will be worth US$55.8 billion US dollars by the year 2030, writes Alvarado. Defend on dawn of drones this week. Counter UAS Solutions. Join Don and special guest Gabriel Bendheim, pre-sales team leader at Defend Solutions as they discuss the counter-drone tales from the trenches to help inform and protect the various environments including military, infrastructure, urban and other sensitive sites. New DJI headquarters mark beginning of a new era, says Frank Wang. Drone and camera technology leader DJI has opened its new company headquarters in Shenzhen, China. This new building, dubbed DJI Sky City, features architectural structures not yet seen in large-scale high-rise buildings. Designed by leading architectural team Foster Plus Partners, the two 44- and 40-story towers are 200 meters high, with a 90-meter-long suspension skybridge linking them at 105 meters. This new building brings the company's employees together in one location, after previously being based in offices scattered across Shenzhen. 
AUVSI works with DIU on Trusted Cyber Program, Cybersecurity Certification for Commercial Drones. The Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International, AUVSI, leading trade association for uncrewed vehicle systems, announced the AUVSI Trusted Cyber Program, a collaboration with the Defense Innovation Unit, DIU, to establish a cybersecurity certification for commercial drones. The resulting shared standard, which AUVSI describes as like the one used to develop the DIU's Blue UAS cleared list will hopefully allow faster processing so that more qualifying commercial drone platforms can be added to the list. DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series, two new portable commercial drones, for a wide range of applications. Today, drone and camera technology leader DJI unveiled its new DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise Series. The series' two new portable commercial drones, the DJI Mavic 3E and DJI Mavic 3T, are based on DJI's flagship Mavic 3 series and are designed to fulfill a wide range of use cases. The highly compact drones can be carried in one hand and rapidly deployed, and boast a flight time of 45 minutes. SkyDrive Funding, Japanese flying car and cargo drone company scores more than $66 million. Japanese flying car and cargo drone developer SkyDrive Inc. announced its acquisition of 9.6 billion yen in its Series C funding round, bringing the company's total to roughly 14.7 billion yen. Charlie's Philly Stakes by Drone, Flytrex delivers in North Carolina. Today, Charlie's Philly Stakes announced a partnership with ultra-fast drone delivery leader Flytrex. The partnership will see the delivery of freshly grilled cheesesteaks by drone in Durham, North Carolina, with orders placed using the Flytrex app and delivered directly to residents' yards with an average flight time of only three minutes. Verizon Frontline's Thor, a superhero with a drone for disaster response. As Hurricane Ian bears down on Florida, Drone Life got an inside look at Verizon Frontline's newest tool to support public safety and first responders. Verizon's Thor, Tactical Humanitarian Operations Response is a superhero with a drone for disaster response, one of Verizon Frontline's hundreds of deployable assets that stand ready to assist first responders and public safety teams. Wingcopter delivery drones, electric cargo bikes will provide emissions-free, fast service to rural Germany. Today, drone manufacturer Wingcopter and the Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences, Frankfurt UAS, received funding certificates for their joint project in Berlin. Known as DROLX Dronenlassenrad Express Belieferung, Drone Cargo Bike Express Delivery, the project will conduct tests to evaluate the potential of on-demand transport of consumer goods in improving local supply in rural communities. The first project of its kind in Germany, DROLX is funded with nearly 500,000 euros by the German Federal Ministry of Digital and Transport as part of the Innovative Air Mobility Funding Program. Unauthorized drones bring football games to a halt, new CUAS technology could solve the problem. Twice this week, football games in the US were abruptly halted while stadium security teams attempted to deal with rogue drones over the field. In a crowded stadium, just shooting them down is not only illegal and unlikely to be effectively, it's also extremely dangerous. Drone Life gets the inside view on new CUAS technology that could help protect sporting events from unwanted drone incursions. September 25, a University of Washington Huskies game was interrupted late in the fourth quarter when Stanford coach David Shaw alerted security of an unauthorized drone flying over the field. One day later, on September 26, a Seattle Seahawks game against the Atlanta Falcons was halted in the fourth quarter as NFL security cleared all players off the field when an unauthorized drone was spotted over or near the stadium. Subscribe to DroneLife.com for more commercial drone news.